follow the 2021 to 22 Premier League season on the One Football app with breaking news stories, match stats, and live scores. Get customized push notifications to receive team news, goal alerts, and more. Download it for free. The link is in the description. Welcome back to the Captaincy Pick series, where we take a look at the three strongest contenders for the armband as decided by the outcome of our Twitter poll. As always, you can cast your vote via the link in the description. And here's how things are shaping up for Game Week 3. After failing to deliver against Southampton, Bruno Fernandes moves down to third place with 16% of the vote, ahead of another away tie. The Portuguese international remains the joint leading goalscorer after his opening day hat trick, while only Mane, Antonio, and Cabot Lewin have landed more than his four shots on target. Last season, Fernandes earned 7.1 points per game against teams that finished in the bottom half of the table, averaging 0.4 goals and 0.6 assists per 90 minutes. As a team, Man United averaged 2.3 goals and 1.8 expected goals against those sides, trailing only Man City for each. They netted 22 goals in their 10 away matches against teams in the bottom half, again ranking second only to the champions. Wolves, meanwhile, ranked joint 8th for goals conceded against the Big Six plus Leicester last season, shipping 1.57 per game on average. They conceded just 9 goals in their 7 home matches against those sides, with only 4 teams faring better. With 17% of the vote, Hyung Min Son just edges into second place for Watford's visit to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. The South Korean has picked up 13 points so far this season, playing in an out of position forward role. But Harry Kane could be in line to return to the starting 11 on Sunday, after confirming he'll be staying at Spurs this summer. Last season, Son picked up 6.2 points per game against the bottom six teams, averaging 0.67 goals and 0.48 expected goals per 90 minutes. Tottenham scored an average of 2.17 goals per game against those sides, with only four teams faring better. They scored 15 goals in their six home matches against the bottom six, only Man United and Leicester managed more. Watford have failed to keep a clean sheet in their opening two matches, conceding four goals. Only Newcastle, Leeds and Norwich have been more porous. But following consecutive double-figure returns, Mikhail Antonio has the backing of 58% of voters as he looks to extend his hot streak against Crystal Palace. The West Ham number 9 leads the way for shots, big chances and non-penalty expected goals after the opening two matches. Last season, the 31-year-old averaged 5 points per game against teams that finished in the bottom 8 places, racking up 0.56 goals and 0.52 expected goals per 90 minutes. The Hammers averaged 1.88 goals against those sides, only 5 teams managed more. And just 4 teams could better their 32 goals scored during home matches. Now under new manager Patrick Vieira, their opponents Crystal Palace conceded 2.44 goals per game against the top 8 teams last season. Only Southampton fared worse with 2.56. The Eagles gave up 49 big chances away from home. Only Sheffield United, Southampton and Leeds were more obliging 